Welcome back. For Bangaloreans, investing in plots of land and living in villas used to be the most preferred option when it came to home buying. Today, owing to the onslaught of apartments and other modes of community living, this trend of owning individual plots and villas is changing. Lakshmi Sivdas finds out what's causing the change and the long-term housing trend that is emerging in this city. A resident of Bangalore for over 30 years now, Sajita and her family have always wanted to own a plot of land with her villa on it. But what they finally settled for instead was an apartment. You know, there's a lot of issues if you buy a plot. Cost is very high. We went about 10, 15 kilometers away from the city level. Then you have an issue with all the katha and, you know, the ancestral property. And it, it, many people were there, uh, owner of that one particular property, and it was very difficult to buy. But of course, you get, you have to go out of Bangalore like 40, 30, 40, 50 kilometers away from Bangalore, then you may get it. But then again, the risk factor is high. Home buyers across Bangalore seem to be in the same boat as Sajita. Soaring land prices in the city are a concern for them. In just the last two years, prices for individual plots in the city have risen from as low as 999 rupees per square feet to as high as 1758 rupees per square feet in Bangalore East and West alone. The major micro markets where home buyers have the option of affordable plots are also further away from the city. It includes Hoskote, Jigni, Chikbalapur, Magadi, and Bagalur. Experts say that this is just one reason why home buyers are preferring other housing options. Bangalore has also evolved in the last 20 years. I mean, it has moved away from being the traditional uh, retirement home to being the, the IT growth corridor. So from that standpoint, you see a lot more apartment buyers in the city, primarily because the cost associated with buying land is extremely high. Apartments, you can actually buy a two, three bedroom apart apartment in this you know, sweet spot range of 60 to 80 lakhs. Whereas if you want to buy a plot of land, unless you want to go live 25 kilometers away from Bangalore and commute back and forth, uh, it's, it's, it, it is not any, within anybody's reach. So apartments still, like I mentioned, 45,000 square, 45,000 apartments are sold every year in Bangalore, of which only 15% are plotted developments. It's not just individuals. Developers offering plotted developments too foresee a grim future when it comes to acquiring land for their projects. The challenge, I think, is in terms of land, the cost of the land, you know. So to acquire land today at today's prices and then to provide the infra quality type of infrastructure that we provide and to be still able to provide a plot at an affordable cost is the challenge. Uh, for us, so far, it's been primarily on land parcels that we've historically owned. Uh, you know, so uh, for us, the, the mo motive has been largely to unlock the land value. But going forward, I think the challenge would be to, one, in acquisition of larger land parcels uh, definitely would be a challenge. And second, the cost of cost at which this acquisition takes place would also be a challenge. The major developers who are currently offering plotted developments include Maxworth Realty, Confident Group and Nirman Shelters. Inventory of unsold stock for plotted developments have risen from about 34,500 units in the first quarter of 2013 to 36,000 units in the first quarter of 2014 while absorption of the same has dipped from 7,500 units to 6,250 units in the same period. Experts say that while there isn't a dearth of plots or plotted developments in the city, apartments are going to be the clear front runner until the outer areas of Bengaluru are better connected to it. From Bengaluru, Lakshmi Shivdas for NDTV.